Hey guys, in today's Photoshop tutorial I will show you how to get the silky effect uh, that you can create using long exposures in photography and I will show you how to do this without a neutral density filter, without a tripod or even without a camera because the photos that I took to create this effect uh, were made with a, with a smartphone. So um, this is one of the shots that I took and after combining 19 images I got this effect. So the only thing that you will need is to take a sequence of images and combine them in Photoshop using smart objects. And you can use any version of Photoshop uh, starting from CS3. Uh, all you need to make sure is that your Photoshop can work with smart objects and the way you can uh, you can check that is if you go to the layer uh, menu, go to smart objects and check if you have the stack mode. So if you have this you will be ready to go and you will be able to create this effect. So let's get started. A while ago I created a tutorial explaining how to use the stack mode and smart objects to remove uh, unwanted, unwanted people like tourists from your photos and also how to reduce noise on astrophotography using this um, using the same technique. Today I will show you how to use stack modes and smart objects to create a different effect which is uh, this sort of long exposure effect that you can usually see on waterfalls and um, highways with the car lights. Uh, I just combined 19 images but uh, if you have more, if you can take more images uh, the effect will be a lot better and a lot smoother than what I got here. So uh, this is what you have to do. Um, you can do this uh, in multiple ways but basically what you want to do is load all the photos that you have, uh, the entire sequence, as layers in Photoshop. Most of the times I do this manually but I'll show you how to do it automatically. So what you would do is you would go to File, uh, Scripts and here you would choose Load Files into Stack you would choose browse and here uh, you would locate the folder where you have all the photos here are all the photos that I took from this waterfall I took this with a smartphone so I didn't even have a tripod um, I would I uh, should have taken like 40 pictures or 50 you will get a, a better result if you have more photos so what you would do is just select the entire sequence choose open and here uh, you have to check these two boxes um, because you want to align these photos. If you take this on a, if you take the pictures on a tripod and you're sure that the pictures uh, did not move between shots, do not check this uh, box because um, you will uh, save a few minutes of waiting. And you want to check this uh, because you want to create this. Um, you want to combine all the photos into a smart object. And then you would click OK, and Photoshop will start to align the image and then create the smart object. Uh, what I do instead is I open the, one of the images um, in Photoshop and then load the other ones and I'll tell you why in a second. So I'll close this and I'll go to my folder here and I will open one of the images in Photoshop CC and next I will go back to my folder, select the rest of the images and drag them over my canvas right here and let go and just press enter to add these photos. You can see Photoshop opens them as a smart object and it also keeps the file name as the layer, uh, the name of the layer. Okay, so here are my 19 images and the reason why I do this and not do it uh, automatically is because I want to use one of the images here and the reason for that is because uh, if you have like an object here that it's moving slightly or like this tree branches over here uh, when you use the stacking modes, uh, this are, will, if they move between shots, if it's windy outside or something like that, uh, they will start to come up um, like fuzzy and really um, out of focus. And I don't want to, I don't want to do that. And this, that's why I want to have this um, top layer here, and then I'll use a layer mask. I'll show you that. So the first thing I want to do is create a copy of this uh, by pressing Control Command J. And I'll name, I'll name this top because this will be the top image which will not be included in the smart objects of the, well, the stack here. And the next thing I want to do is rasterize these layers because I have to align them and you cannot auto align smart objects. If you select them and go to edit and you will see that auto align layers is not active. So you have to rasterize the layers. 
So f select the uh, first layer, go down on the bottom, press and hold the shift key, select the last one, right click and choose rasterize layers. Um, but first, yeah, right here, rasterize layers. And also make sure you unlock this background layer by pressing the alt key and double clicking on, on it. Now you have to select all of the layers. So again, select all of them, go to edit and you will see that now auto align layers is active. Click that and leave everything to, uh, to auto. I did not check any of the um, boxes there and just click okay. Now this takes a, uh, a little while. So depending on how many photos you have and how big they are, if you have like 50 photos, it will it can take up to five minutes or something like that. Um, I'll just pause the video and uh, or just fast forward and, and that's it. Now as you can see Photoshop uh, aligned these images and if I deactivate them you can see that the only thing that moves now here is the water falling and all the the rest of the image are aligned. So what I want to do now is select all of the layers except the top one and convert them into a smart object. So select all of those layers and right click and choose convert the smart object. This can also take a bit of time, uh, depending on how many images you have. Usually it's pretty quick. And then go to Layer, Smart Objects. And here you can see that the stack mode is now active when you have a smart object. And here you choose Mean or Median. Uh, I usually choose Median. And just have to wait a bit more um, for Photoshop to analyze the images and create this smooth effect for us. So if you don't have... Um, a neutral density filter or um, if you don't have um, a professional DSLR or something like that you can still create this sort of long exposure effects by stacking uh, multiple images and that's how I created this this effect I didn't even have a camera with me as I said I just had a smartphone and that's how I created this let's see how the effect uh, comes out so here's the result uh, as you can see I deactivated the top layer and this is the the result by just stacking 19 images this is the effect that I got as I said if I would have more images the effect would come out a lot smoother but well now let's uh, deal with the top layer um, if I zoom in here you will see that well some of the images uh, well it's shifted a bit uh, it's it's a bit smoother and um, some some parts here are out of focus um, let's see somewhere around here I think I saw something, yeah, right here. You can see this moved a bit. Well, this is actually from from the uh, the water itself. The top part, the entire top part should be still without any kind of change. So you can use this top layer to uh, create a layer mask, an inverted layer mask by pressing and holding the Alt key and clicking this layer mask icon. And now you can simply uh, use a brush and just uh, paint with white. And let me reveal the this on the entire canvas and just make sure that uh, everything here is as it should see this especially here on the on the sides and just have this silk effect over the water itself and not over this sides here okay uh, take a look at this part here if I deactivate this, see how it's smoother. So uh, with this layer mask, I can keep the effect only on the water. So well, that's uh, that's how I how you can create this uh, sort of uh, long exposure effect by stacking images in Photoshop. I hope you like this technique. And if you put your images on Instagram, uh, use the hashtag PSDbox, and maybe you will get featured on our gallery. Or simply, if you want to show um, if you want to show us your your result, just use the hashtag PSDBox. That's all for today. Uh, I'm Andre from PSDBox, and we'll see you on the next tutorial.